Today I'm going to review three new products. A Wi-Fi router, a network attached storage and personal hybrid cloud. A Wi-Fi router, a network attached storage and personal hybrid cloud. Are you getting it? It is one and the same product that have all of these features and it's called Amber Plus. What's up, Kirill Piask is here, get ready for another review where Home Assistant and Nextcloud are involved. This time I will have my hands on one hybrid and I'm not talking about Prius or something, but about this all-in-one device called Amber Plus. With the size of a small home stereo speaker, this device is having dual hard drives in RAID 1. A 4x4 MIMO router and Intel processor inside capable of virtualization and running Docker containers, which opens to you almost endless possibilities. Before we continue further, I want to show you something. This is my always on NAS server running on FreeNAS. And this is my home assistant server that is currently switched off as it is a bit noisy. And this is my router. All of these devices can be replaced by the Amber Pro. And I got a feeling that I will retire or at least I will offload some stuff around here after installing and running the Amber Pro. But let's see what we have inside this box. And then I'll try to install Home Assistant and Nextcloud on Amber. This is the Amber Plus box. Bring your digital life home documents, photos, videos and data, personal hybrid cloud, dual HDD, 2x2 two two terabytes, Wi-Fi router, multi-user support, Intel CPU, automatic backups, dual band 2.4 and 5 GHz router, <laughs> We have Intel Dual Core Gemini Lake CPU. The built in Wi Fi router is AC2600. We have one HDMI output, one gigabit Ethernet LAN port, and two gigabit Ethernet LAN ports. This thing is heavy. So let's open the box. Quick start guide. UK cable, EU cable, the power adapter, LAN cable, hello, let's get you connected, nice, Here it is, the Amber Plus. USB 3 Type A, USB Type C, HDMI reset, power button, power connector, WARM, and two LANs, and also WPS button. Let's connect this to the power grid. We now know what is in the box, but let's plug the LAN and power cable on. Okay, I plugged the cable in the power grid, now connect this one, I'll also connect the LAN cable in this port. And I press this power button. To set up the device, I will use the Amber Manager mobile app available for iOS and Android. I will now scan this barcode. View in App Store, Amber Manager, get. Okay, and I, I have to scan the barcode that is under the Amber Pro. The bottom part, join, 
continue the setup. Privacy policy, agree. This may take up to 10 minutes to install the latest OS. Okay, next. Downloading Amber OS will continue after this download finish. The default password is admin, one, two, three, four. Login. You can name your device here. I'll name it Amber Pro. Two terabytes. Creating storage volume, okay? And don't close the app during this process. Up to three minutes, okay. I will not close it. After the storage is created, you will be asked to create a user and to validate your user with validation code that will be sent to your email. Pretty standard procedure and your Amber is ready. Amber Plus can be used in front of the another router or behind an existing one. I will use it behind my router as I don't want to replace my unified dream machine just yet. And this is where you can change these settings. In Amber Manager, tap on Router tab and then under one mode, change DHCP to Bridge and click Apply. Hit OK here and Amber Router will reboot. After Bridge mode is successfully activated, I can now go to the storage and this is my storage IP that I will open on my laptop and let's see what will happen. Now, when we are finished with the router configuration, let's check the Amber OS. I will now open my storage IP. Welcome to Amber OS. I can download another app called Amber Life on my phone, but maybe later. I have versioning protection, which is very nice. And I can customize my settings. I can modify my Amber settings. I can configure data backup and so on. I'll close this. And this is it, the Amber OS dashboard. Let's first check the file explorer. Oh, I have a wizard here, which is very nice. This is my home folder. VP Home is version protected home folder. Share and export folder. Pair your Amber account with Amber Cloud ID to enable remote access. User Homes. By default, you can see all users home folder in Amber. Next. This folder supports video background transcoding. Very interesting. That means if I upload my video to this folder, it will be transcoded for a smooth video watching experience. I have an I button here for more information. And I guess I finish with my file explorer. It seems very intuitive. Recent recycle bin. I have some settings here. User quota. Snapshots. And maybe I can check the control panel. Very nice dashboard. I have these gigabytes available and I used only three. I guess this is the Amber OS. The current CPU temperature, the memory, my IP and system temperature in Fahrenheit and in Celsius. I can manage user groups, disk, volume, face recognition, I guess. If I install this plugin, it will try to recognize people in my photos. Okay. Some logs, firmware update, my Amber OS is up to date, factory reset, remote support. And this is a service that you can use if you need help. Amber Pro Beta. We will see how to use that menu later in the video. It's very interesting. 
General LAN Security DDNS Settings. Okay, let's see backup tool. Time machine, very good. Tarsync task, remote server, snapshot. Storage used, remote replication, snapshot, restore, and time machine. Router. I know router already, I don't want to see it again for now. And Amber Finder. You can use these two to find other Amber devices, if you have some in your network. It is time to run Home Assistant on Amber Plus using Docker container. And if you don't know what Home Assistant is, check some of these video tutorials of mine. If you are watching up until now and you still didn't hit the like button, now is the best time because it is getting really interesting from now on. We'll start playing with Docker containers. So I'll go back to control panel. This is the service called Amber Pro that I have to install to unlock the Docker containers in Amber device. A few moments later, the Amber Pro is already installed. I can click apply and as you can see, I have a new menu here. And there it is, containers, images, folders, very good. The first thing that I want to do is to create one folder that I'm going to use to map all of my container folders. I'll name that folder containers. And I'll just hit create. Then I'll go back to Amber Pro and I'll go to containers, plus button manually create a container. The container name will be HA for Home Assistant. Docker image name I will get from the hub.docker.com. I'll search for Home Assistant here. Home Assistant, here it is, and I'll get this part, the last part, and I'll paste this here. I'll add a tag, latest, column latest, that means get the latest Home Assistant release in Docker Hub. The network will be default. I will use this port mapping over TCP protocol, the Amber port and container port. This is the default port for Home Assistant. It will be mapped to the Amber IP. Restart policy, I will leave it always and I will mount a folder that I created earlier, containers. Inside containers, I'll create another folder named HA config. For example, add and I'll map the config folder in Home Assistant container to this Amber folder. That means all of the configuration of Home Assistant will be visible in inside this folder located in Amber Pro and I think I'm ready I can click create status downloading that means the Home Assistant image is now downloading after several minutes or seconds I don't know all of the images all of the files needed for Home Assistant will be downloaded and ready to be used by the Docker container. And Home Assistant is running on this URL. This is the IP of the Amber and the port that I mapped when I created the Home Assistant container. This is very useful, the CPU and RAM that this container is using. And if I click on it, I will see the Home Assistant 
welcome screen where I have to create a user like this. Hey, if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now let's go back. And here it is, the Home Assistant. Very good. That was easy. I can now have Home Assistant container version up and running in under two minutes. Let's now try to install Nextcloud. And if you don't know what Nextcloud is, check this video tutorial of mine. For the Nextcloud, I'll try to create a container again manually. And for the image, I'll just type nextcloud colon latest, latest tag. Container name will be NC. The exposed port will be, for example, 8080 and the container port will be just 80. I'll also mount a folder inside containers folder. I will create a new one called Nextcloud Storage, for example. Add for the container part, I will enter var www.html. This is where all of the important Nextcloud data is, and I will hit create. Oh, it seems that this port is already occupied, so I'll change it. And the next cloud image is downloading. Okay, it seems that next cloud is already running. I can open it by clicking on this URL. And here it is, the next cloud welcome screen. Now both Home Assistant and Nextcloud Docker containers are running. Let's quickly check how much resources we have left on the Amber Plus. I just want to check the system utilization of Amber Pro. After I have Nextcloud and Home Assistant up and running, I'll go to Control Panel, Dashboard, and the memory is around 50%. And the CPU is 25-30% occupied. That's nice. That's very nice. The CPU temperature is also around 50 degrees. And everything seems green. Any sort of engagement on this channel does really help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So you make sure that you hit the subscribe, like and bell buttons if you enjoyed this video. Also feel free to add me on Twitter by searching for this username. I'm trying to post there frequently. You can also find me on my Discord server as well. And if you want to secure this channel existence, you can become one of my supporters. You can see exactly how in the video description below. I really hope that you find this information useful and you now know more about Amber Plus and running Home Assistant and Nextcloud Docker containers on it. Stay safe and don't forget, home smart but not hard. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.